Hey hello everyone, SB here. Now, what day today we game on Clan Blitz Mako, where we're watching the T Tech. Looking at the comps, uh let's see, they massively outpaint you guys, but that's okay, because you massively outslay them. Uh looking at there's two juniors, just kill them. It's not too hard. Uh and then looking at undercover, if you play your cards right, they'll be a very easy kill. Kill the T Tech and you kill a lot of their pushing power. There are a lot of missiles though, I will say that. Uh let's see. So go into mid. It seems like he won't. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Eh. Not too much to say there. That was a really bad jump. Yeah. You could tell that it was a bad jump. Uh, you can tell the jump is bad by seeing if there's enemy ink nearby. If it's there's enemy ink and it's moving, then that means there's an enemy nearby, which means bad jump. Just stay up here and toss bombs. Or that. Okay, where's the where's the undercover? Oh, there they are. Hmm. Overall, you play the defense pretty well. Good job. Uh, push up more. Push up more. You can paint a bit more. There you go. Someone's on on mid now. Uh, are you guys stacked left? Yeah, you guys are stacked left. Things are gonna go bad if they push. Yeah, you kind of. I don't know if that was going through your mind, but yeah, you kind of do want to pop that to make sure they don't push you guys. Because if they push you guys while you guys are stacked left, you guys are all just dead. Alright. Paint mid, hold mid. There's a crab, push that crab. Protect the crab, protect the crab. There we go, good job. Now in more, in more, in more. You're trying to get your clams? I, yeah, you're trying to get clams, so the push actually is useful. Push them, push them, push, push, push. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to do anything. You're going to get like one clam. Okay, you probably could have gotten, gotten like two, but you recognize it's not worth sacrificing your life. But even still, you just you still you already committed. Uh, let's see. Protect the basket. Protect the basket. Protect the basket. Protect the basket. You this is this is irrelevant. This guy is irrelevant. Go back to the basket. There we go. They're still behind you. They're still behind you. Now they're in front of you, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you are. There you go. Just outslay the junior. Or, but now, Kill the junior. Just kill the junior. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways. Yeah, this push isn't going to do all too well. You might as well do that. There's no need to push a junior like that. Like, yeah, your weapon has superior killing power. But it also has better range than the junior. Try to just start at your range. Uh, like, at the edge of your range, at least. So... I'm pretty sure you have more range than a junior. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, if not, then you have more effective range. Uh, let's see. Going in. There we go. Pain around, pain around. Get the clam. There we go. Don't go back. Just go forward. That's a crab. Go forward. Push with them. Push with them. Pity doesn't matter. Pity doesn't matter. Help with the push. Help with the push. Yeah. If you were to help with the push there, what would have happened is one, the push would have actually worked, but two, the crab would have not died. The crab wouldn't have gotten dived. Uh, actually, no, they would have, but you would have been there to protect it. So the crab would have stayed alive, which meant the push would have gone for longer, which means that move your brush did would have actually mattered. Yeah, here, it would have been best to just jump out. The main reason being, you were distracting the enemy. Yeah, sure, fine, but not any longer than the basket was up was up for. So in reality, your distraction didn't really do anything. Protect the right. Leaked some clams. That's pretty bad, but eh, whatever. It's what happened. Push in. You can get. I think you can get. You can get more. I felt like you could have gotten a lot more space. You could have gotten their basket, in my opinion. Like. Hmm. Okay. Don't don't go back for the pity. You have enough clams. You have enough clams. Don't go back for the oh. Yeah, brother. No, that's pretty fair. Yeah, okay. You you fought the brother pretty well. Go forward, 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 go forward. Go forward. <laughs> All right, now throw throwing the ball, throwing the ball, throwing the ball, throwing the ball, throwing the ball. No, don't fight, don't fight, throw the ball. No. Mm. Yeah, that was the biggest. That was the biggest thing. The best thing for you to do there would have been to just instead of fighting, jump, throwing the ball. Like when you're still on right stack. 
Jump off right stack. Throw in the ball. Ow. And see what you can do from there. Yeah. That would have gotten you guys lead. And put you guys in a comfortable, more comfortable position. Yeah. No. Unfortunate. Yeah. No. Okay. I think the biggest thing here was... Uh, let's see. You made some decisions that wasn't really relevant to the objective. Like, uh, the biggest, the egregious, most egregious one is not throwing in the ball when you jumped off right stack. You basically just ignored the objective pretty much. Because <laughs> you had a ball, you could have gotten a lot of points. Uh, let's see what else. I would have also preferred to see you... You, you, were, you were split between pushing and grabbing the pity. I think what you know, you might have had someone tell you, like, hey, you should be grabbing the pity uh, whenever there is a push going on. Or like, because you, know, you grab the pity, you jump in, and you score. And that's cool and all. That's cool the push, push works. But when you're grabbing the pity, it is extremely inconvenient. Unless you have just died. But you never, you didn't die when you wanted to grab the pity. You... So what that means is you left your team alone for like, I don't know, like six seconds or so. Being in decision limbo. Even if you, I still wouldn't like if you got the pity, but at least you would have actually done something. Uh, let's see. But instead, you're in decision limbo, so you didn't do anything. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for today. Don't, don't be in decision limbo. At least do something, but don't. I, I don't think it's a good idea to grab the pity unless it's convenient, and it's only really convenient when you just died, or when you're respawning. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See y'all.